All right, guys. So today we're gonna be DXing because um, I heard something on channel three. It sounded like a Binghamton station. And uh, I wanna confirm that it really is a Binghamton station, uh, channel three. So it's probably either, well, actually no. I hear a siren. It can't be Cooperstown because they're off the air. Well, they've been off the air for over a year, so. It's probably WNG705. You guys hear that? I know I do. Okay. So it could be WNG705 in Honesdale. Honesdale, Pennsylvania. Which I believe is in Wayne County. Uh... I think, yeah. I know they serve Wayne County. Let's see what it, let's see what, let's see what the ER three ten can get at least. Lost in the morning. Sunny. Obviously, Rise my local station. Eight at Springfield, Vermont, and fifty nine at Boston. WGF forty eight. I hear something on channel five. I think that's probably Cornwall. But I also hear something else, but... There's WXL37 in Highland. That's KSC43. There's something on channel two. I hear something on channel two. I can get it. That's not even coming in. That's Stanford. Georgia 43. All right. So, I hear something on channel 5. It sounds like something... Ju just judging by the static. Judging by the static, it sounds like something's trying to come in. You know? You know what I mean? I've been learning a lot from DXing. I've been learning a lot from DXing. If the static sounds... Sounds like something's trying to come in, you know? But, anyways. Here we go. We're going to try to see if we can get the backyard, which I think the backyard might be more doable because I was getting it in the back hallway, surprisingly. So I think we should be good. Let's see. Temperature of 50 degrees. That's Cornwall. Not much. That's Gore Mountain, I hear. That's
at Score Mountain still. That score mounting because I can tell they're kind of slow a little bit. Still, I have a feeling it's going to be one of those fading ones. And Gore Mountain's really being a pain right now. Gore Mountain's really being a pain right now. Something. I feel like it's doable. I really do. Wait. Maybe right here. I don't know, just judging by how that static was.
No, that's not it. The crickets are being such a bothering. I don't know. I don't know where to get. It's Kia. I really want to get that Channel 3 station. I don't know. You know what? I think I'm just gonna have to try. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to try and get it when it turns nighttime because apparently there's supposed to be this huge tropo that's supposed to be hitting me tonight. I think it's tonight, if I remember right. I'm gonna have to look at the DXing forecast propagation, but. I do remember seeing something crazy um, around the October, I think it was 18th or 19th or something. Like, it was like in between the 18th and 19th, which today's the 18th, right? Apparently, there's supposed to be a tropo coming tonight, I think. I think it's tonight, if I remember right. Um, so maybe when the tropo actually comes and hits me, because, oh, it was a kitty. Oh, man, it's gone. It was a black kitty. I saw it running for its life. But, yeah, it's gone now. But, yeah. So maybe when the tropo actually does hit me, you know, when it turns nighttime and all that crap, maybe I could try DXing that. And then maybe I can confirm uh, Honesdale or whatever that station was because I definitely heard something different on channel 3 off camera it was definitely different because all I heard was the temperature was 67 degrees like I kept on hearing that over and over so it's probably a big up sensation and there goes another siren are you serious it's probably a big up sensation and if I had to guess it would probably be Honesdale it, because, jeez, that is close. Yeah, it would probably be Honesdale because, yes, I know, some of you are probably thinking that it's Cooperstown because it's closer to me. But they're off the air. Because if you go to uh, New York State Stations and see Cooperstown, it says out of service, and it's been like that for over a year. So, I'm gonna guess it's uh, Honesdale. I mean, if it is Cooperstown, I mean, I don't, I, I doubt it's Cooperstown, because why would it say out of service? You know, it's, it's say out of service. But, yeah. But, anyways, so there you have it. <laughs> I don't know. What am I doing? Why am I DXing now? When I should be waiting until tonight? I mean, I, I mean, cause then again, I did hear something, so I was just curious, but I guess I'm not gonna be getting it right now. So maybe if I wait until tonight, maybe then I'll get it. And then maybe I could try the back hallway again. And you know, that would be whatever, but yeah, I guess I'll do that. I mean, to be fair, I am getting some stations. Like, I got that one station. Like I said, I kept on describing it. And then KZZ31. And, uh... I even heard something on Channel 2 as well. I think it was probably Walton. Because for some reason, I can get them a lot better. Even though 
they're way more further than me than WXM45, which, get this, WXM45, 83 miles. Walton, 105. How is that even possible? You would think that I would be able to get Middleville super good, right? No. They're on channel two, by the way. I'm not getting anything. Although, it'd be a little something right here, but... I can't even make it out. I can't even make it out. But I'm going to guess it's Walton. Or maybe I'm just too impatient and maybe it actually isn't Walton, but I don't know. I'm just going to go back inside because these crickets are bothering the heck out of me with their chirping. So...